stage was set for the third round of the 2015 F2 World Championship, the Swiss Grand Prix at Campione on Lake Lugano. Everybody was expecting a spectacular race because of the large number of boats and the rough and tricky conditions. And nobody was proved wrong when the red light turned off and 24 pilots accelerated towards turn 1. Paul Setter Lundin had a fantastic start, but already 25 seconds into the race, the red flag was shown. Nick Bisterfeld and newcomer Stian Slatedalen made contact at the first turn and ended upside down in the water. Both pilots were okay, but it took some time to get the race course cleared for the restart. When the lights turned off for the second time, again it was Landin who made the best out of his pole position and took the lead, followed by Alex Carella on second. Behind these two, a fantastic battle for third developed between Johann Oesterberg, Stefan Hagen and Matthew Pofremen. It was great racing between these three and for the moment Johann Oesterberg could get in front of Hagen and Pofremen. But Hagen didn't leave Oesterberg any second to relax. Maybe this pressure led to a mistake of Oesterberg so Hagen and Pofremen could pass the Swede. Meanwhile, Erik Edin and Konstantin Ustinov crashed at the far turn and caused a big mess up, which resulted in several boats colliding. Owen Jelf, one of the victims, had to retire with massive damage to the boat and also Bimba Sjöholm struggled with damage on her boat. But it came even worse when third place Stefan Hagen tried to overlap Sjöholm and they made contact at the very same turn. Matthew Pofremen took advantage and went up to third, but Hagen continued the race with anger inside and pushed hard. Bimba Sjöholm had to retire after this second accident with heavy damage to her Mogart boat. And also Hagen's boat suffered massive damage, but still the German kept pushing for third. Landin, meanwhile, was leading the race with Alex Corella on second, only some tenths of a second behind the Swede, who would make a big step towards winning the title by winning the third Grand Prix in a row. For Stefan Hagen, the race came to an end in lap 13, when the effects of the crash made it impossible to continue. So it was Thomas Czermak who took fourth right behind Matthew Perfreyman. The second time after Brindisi, the Slovakian driver just missed the podium by one place. We are thinking for the future, for the next uh, year. This year is for me for only for the, some experience, some test of the propeller of the boat uh, and the setup. And we are preparing everything for next year. Matthew Pofremen couldn't get any closer to Landin and Corella, so the British pilot, who is just doing his third ever race in the World Championship, once again finished on the podium by getting third. Yeah, no, it was a good race. I, 10 laps in, uh, sorry, about 15 laps in. We were catching the leaders, we were having great fun, but coming up to back markers that don't know the rules and get in the way, and just, they just keep taking your line. I had to race past him, just got past him, but the leaders were too far in front to do anything. So I'm happy with third. We're still in the, uh, in the hunt for the World Championship, so it's good. The leader in the championship, Pierre Landin, made a statement by winning his third Grand Prix in a row. And even if Alex Carella could come close, there was never a chance to pass Landin for the win. Great race, tough race. Uh, Pierre was really fast, but I didn't leave him uh, a second uh, for all the 34 laps. So, I mean, uh, I was waiting for some mistake. He didn't make one, but okay. Really, really, really big race, I think. With three wins out of three races, Pierre Landin made a big step towards winning the 2015 F2 title, even though the rough conditions of the Swiss Grand Prix certainly challenged the Swede. That was really tough. Carella is an uh, extremely good driver, I think. And uh, who knew, who know, if there would be five or ten laps more, maybe he passed me. But I'm happy. Uh... <laughs> The team at work, perfect, and uh, the boat, uh, my new boat, can handle this 
type of waves also. So uh, I know, and of course the propeller, so important. Uh, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Who can beat Pierre Landin in the 2015 season? Will it be the current second in the championship, Matthew Perfreyman? The next race will be the British Grand Prix, home ground for Perfreyman. So stay tuned and don't miss the action. Just follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com. <laughs>